decade and a half, America's small businesses have created 65 percent of all new jobs in the country. And more than half of all Americans working in the private sector are either employed by a small business or own one. More than half. So these companies are the engine of job growth in America. They fuel our prosperity. And that's why they have to be at the forefront of our recovery. Welcome back to The Ed Show. President Obama took a quick trip up to Maryland this afternoon to announce a new plan to help create jobs on Main Street. His proposal involves redirecting, redirecting some of the $700 billion in TARP funds away from Wall Street to smaller banks to help businesses. The president also called on Congress to increase the size of small business loans and then also make them more accessible. And he wants to prove, uh, provide money, should I say, to smaller banks at low rates as long as they agree to increase lending. Joining me now is Democratic Senator from Maryland, Ben Cardin, who sits on the Small Business Committee. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. Do you think that this is the correct formula to stimulate the economy in the second half to create jobs? I mean, we're, we're talking about TARP money to community banks at a lower rate. Will it work? Ed, I think the president has it exactly right. To give money to banks, we don't know where that money ends up in creating jobs. Put money in the hands of small businesses through the community banks. We're going to create jobs. We're going to advance innovation. It's not only job growth, but much of the innovation in America's workplace comes from small businesses. This is what we need to do. This will really help us create jobs in our community. Was this planned all along, or is the Obama White House winging it based on market conditions and the job growth not coming around as quick as they thought? it would. Uh, since the beginning of the Obama administration, we've been working with them very closely to say, look, we've got to put the priority in getting money out in our community to the small businesses. And they've been working on it. I think this effort now of working with the community banks to help small businesses makes a great deal of sense. Increasing the, uh, the, the caps on small business loans will help. Already in the Recovery Act, we eliminated a lot of the fees and we made it a little bit easier for, for small businesses to get loans. Uh, we've got to do more, and the Obama administration has been working on this since day one. Senator, I have a request. You sit on the Small Business Committee, and me being a small business guy, let me throw this out. Small community banks could now borrow at 3%. I'd like to get 3.5% money. Is that possible? Or are these banks going to come back and charge me 7, 8, 9% because I don't meet some kind of criteria? There's a lot of Americans out there tonight that are wondering, okay, they're going to get the TARP money at 3%. What are we going to get it at? Well, it's a great question. But there's two points here. First, we want to make sure they can get loans, small businesses. Many small businesses can't get loans. Secondly, we want to make sure the rates are competitive and are fair. And I think you raise a very good point on that. And that's something that's going to be part of this program to make sure that the rates are fair. Well, I just want to point out that Wall Street got what they asked for. And if the, if the government can back it up at a small rate, if you can get 3.5% money, since when, where is it written that taxpayers have to make sure that banks makes mo make money? I mean, if we could get 3.5% money across this country, they're still going to make a half a percent. If you're talking about billions of dollars doing this, the banks will make their money. The cheap money is where the business is going to grow. That's my opinion. I had to take time to say that to you tonight, Ben. No, Ed, I, I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree with you. Well, we want to get the money in the hands of the businesses that are going to create jobs. Small businesses are going to create jobs, and we want to make sure it is at the right rate. We're not interested in subsidizing banks. We're interested in creating jobs with small businesses. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate it very much. I think this is uh, going in the right direction to create jobs. I commend the Obama administration on that.